Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. So today I'm not gonna be doing an actual review on firearms or any other related materials uh, that I like. For example, holsters, belts, you name it. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be doing a uh, kind of a discussion topic, whatever you wanna call this, uh, to kind of educate people out there who may not know uh, about a certain disease called essential tremor. Now, essential tremor, it, it actually affects about 10 million people in the United States currently. And what it is, is basically a nerve disorder that causes uh, basically these rhythmic tremors anywhere in your hands, your arms, your chin, your tongue, your jaw, your larynx, uh, you name it. So it can actually affect, uh, you know, quite a bit of parts of your body, depending on how affected you are or afflicted you are, if you want to look at it from that standpoint. Now, uh, with the tremor, what you find is that whenever you're doing any kind of motor coordination for your hands, uh, you're going to see a tremor. And uh, for me personally, I am uh, a person who has essential tremor. Now, the reason why I'm discussing this is to kind of bring to light some of the, uh, you know, uh, the, the people, and including myself, who go through this and actually struggle with it. Me personally, I, I'm okay. I have a tremor in my hands. Uh, it has not affected my voice box. It hasn't affected my face or anything or my arms, but mostly my hands. And uh, it has been evident in my videos and I kind of joke about it because it's something that I've had my basically almost my entire life. And it's something that I've learned to deal with and work with. And uh, I feel like I've been pretty successful with that. Now, in regards to the tremors, um, you know, there are possible uh, treatments for it. There are no cures because they don't know what actually causes it. So as a result, there are some medications you can take for it. There's also um, something called, and I'm going to look at it really quick because I don't want to give you false information, but I believe it's called deep MR or deep sonograms. I don't know what it's called. Hold on. Let me check for you really quick. Uh, let's see, there it is. It's focused high intensity ultrasound. And that's like the newest treatment they've come out with. Um, so, I mean, there's other treatments besides that, but uh, as time progresses and depending on how severe it is, uh, this disease could progress and make your life basically unbearable where you're not able to use your hands, um, you can't talk correctly, or you can't keep your head from, from kind of uh, shaking. Now, of course, a, a lot of people might say, oh, this is Parkinson's disease. It is not Parkinson's. It is not uh, in the severity of Parkinson's, but over time it could mimic it and become really just life changing for a lot of people out there. And, um, you know, I think it's important to talk about it because lately I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos. Uh, most of them have been very rude, by the way. And, uh, you know, for me, um, it's, a, it's a kind of a personal thing because, you know, unless you're going through it, you don't really know, um, you know, how sometimes it can be difficult to do basic things. Now, does it affect me to the point where it affects my way of living? Absolutely not. I can still shave my face, as you can see. Um, I can brush my teeth. I can brush my hair. I can do basically all the things that most people can do. Um, however, depending on the position of my hands, you may see a tremor in my hand more so than not. Um, you know, and that is something that is apparent in some of the videos. Also, um, if you undergo some stress, whether it's working out or maybe exercising or um, even just a stressful, uh, stressful situation, when that adrenaline starts to run, your hands will shake more. And as you notice, some of my videos, you see it more pronounced than others. And the reason being is because sometimes I shoot my videos when I come home from the gym. So I wanted to address it. I wanted to touch base with everybody out there, uh, especially with all the people who have subscribed to the channel who may not know. Um, I've made it uh, pretty public in regards to making videos and talking about it, and even on the live chats, even bringing it up. And, uh, you know, I make light of it because, like I said, for me, does it affect my way of life? It doesn't. Um, but it is something that does affect about 9,999,999 people. And so if it affects 10 million people and it is a legitimate disease, then what I would hope is that for those of you out there who feel like you have to make comments, for example, am I on drugs? Um, how can I shoot a gun? You're unsafe with a gun. You know, I would ask you to, you know, maybe second guess your comments and educate yourselves a little bit before you make those comments, which in my opinion are unnecessary. Um, if you don't like the channel, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to watch the videos. You can give a thumbs down. You can say, hey, this video is terrible and that's fine. Um, however, you know what, educate yourselves a little bit, find out what you're talking about before you make a stupid comment, because essential tremor is a serious disease. It does affect a lot of people. Um, and you don't have to be an old man to have it. Um, this can affect kids. It can affect middle-aged people all the way up to the elderly. 
So that's about it for today. I really have nothing else I have to say about it. Again, if you want to leave a comment down below, feel free to comment. Uh, again, for those of you who subscribe to the channel and like the content that I provide, I appreciate everything that you guys do and bring to the table with the live chats, with just the discussion points in the comment section. And so I appreciate that and I hope you continue to watch. And on that note, everyone, I hope you have a great night. Stay safe out there. And as always, freedom is never free.